welcome to the Ottoman of Science and puffiness and squishiness and gushy gushy. <clears throat> anyway, we're going to be talking about Newland's three laws of motion. His first law of motion is an object at rest will tend to stay at rest. An object in motion will tend to stay in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Now we're going to test that theory by making an experiment. Now, to make you can do experiments, you know, a lot of ways, but our way is going to get one of them cute little chick books. A big book. A little car, something, anything that rolls. And one of those cool, um, play toys that make funny sounds. One key toy is the unbalanced force, and this is the object that will forever move unless acted upon by an unbalanced force, which is this. So let's do that again. Wow, amazing! Now, let's move on to the next experiment. Now, Newton's second law of motion is F equals M times A which is force equals mass time acceleration. Now, to test that theory, let's get experiment ready. Now, we're going to get this three-year-old with no license driving this nice green sports car that mm -hmm, very good. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to see him fall off the cliff. Now, was what, what was this force you asked? Well, its mass is about three ounces, right? Its acceleration was about two miles per hour. Now, all you have to do is uh, times the mass um, and the acceleration together to make F. Now, to do that, it's, his weight was two ounces, right? And two or three ounces, let's say, and two miles an hour, so that's about six, six students. Newtons, na named after Sir Isaac Newton himself, how lucky of him, I'm so jealous. Anyway, he got his um, unit of measurement named after him. And, ah, James, James, uh, uh, and, um, and, Newton's is measures force. So its force measuring Newton's is six Newtons. Moving on to the next experiment. Um, Newton's third law of motion. His third law of motion is for every action force there's an equal and opposite reaction force. Now to test that theory we must experiments on the table of science. Anyway, let's get our experiment stuff. Uh, see this little rocket? Now, what we're going to do with this is, oh hi James, is we're going to cat thingy is the action force and this is the reaction force when the rocket pops out it pushes down as hard as it can which is the action force and its opposite reaction force is it boom. so let's say here's a real rocket it's going down and its opposite reaction force is making it go up now Here's another example. 
pretending to be Spider-Man is a great example named after Spider-Man himself. All you have to do is get a Spidey sweater and sweat. Now, Sir Isaac Newton has his famous theory that uh, everything falls out at the same time unless it has, unless it's so light and fluffy like a piece of paper that um, they fall at the same time. Like this. Dum, 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 dum. See? Was that not amazing? Now, we're going to test it with a piece of paper. The baseball falls first because it has little to no air resistance. But since this piece of paper is all light and fluffy and it catches lots of air, it has lots of air resistance causing it to slow down the pulse. That's all the time we have today. Goodbye folks. Bye 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 bye. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.